Hello the amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a brand new kind of a Doctor Who epic news type video going on here and I just want to give a quick apology if I sound really really bonged up because at the moment I have got a cold and I'm hoping I can get it out of my system by next Saturday for when I go to Comic Con. So anyway, welcome to this brand new Doctor Who's news type video. Basically yesterday afternoon it was announced by the doctor who page on facebook that the mirror has reported that we'll be getting a brand new doctor who spin-off starring the eighth doctor and i kind of want to talk about how excited i am because i'm gonna go what the mirror says because the mirrors have always been spot on for every single doctor who leakage they've actually ever said i mean come on this was the this is the actual company, aka the Mirror, that basically announced the Abominable Snowman, the Evil of the Daleks, for the animations, and it's even announced that we were going to get the Underwater Ennis and the Smugglers. Although the Smugglers haven't been confirmed yet, but the Underwater Ennis have, so it's very, very highly, highly likely that the that basically the Smugglers is going to be happening. So. I believe it is going to be happening that we are going to get this fantastic spin-off starring the 8th Doctor, a.k.a. the Paul McGann. I'm really looking forward to seeing Paul McGann's return into the role of the 8th Doctor. I think I absolutely love him in the TV movie. He's actually the best thing about the TV movie. I actually love Night of the Doctor. I love his little cameo. And I love his big finished audios because they absolutely are amazing. And they give the 8th Doctor so much character growth from where he starts off where he's just met Charlie. Which I believe is from after the events of the TV movie. And then, of course, he ends up meeting Lucy Miller. I have quite a few series with her. Then, of course, he ends up going into this dark persona that the fact that this is the doctor that's basically lost everything and the eighth doctor basically just flip because he is traveling to the end of the universe and he gets pulled onto a mission by the time lords and then of course all the, the whole massive time the whole time war actually began when the doctor was in his eighth incarnation so i kind of want to talk about how good and how excited i am about this absolutely potential of a spin-off for the eighth doctor well it gives us more on the Doctor Who shelf to give the 8th Doctor for DVD. Because at the moment, he actually has the TV movie out on Blu-ray and on DVD. With Nice the Doctor on the Blu-ray. So, I am really looking forward to this. I mean, I'm hoping if the disc spin-off does so well, we don't get like one series. I'm hoping we kind of get three or four series with the 8th Doctor. Because I really think it'd be amazing. Paul McGann would absolutely be brilliant. So I kind of got five hopes from the from this if it does come true and what I really want to see from the eighth doctor. So first things first, big finish. I want big finish to actually stay canon because when the eighth doctor basically regenerated at the end of Night of the Doctor, he actually mentions his companions that he tra traveled with, aka Mo Charlie, M Lucy, and Molly O'Sullivan because he mentions Molly. When he regenerates into his next incarnation. Now I absolutely love the 8th Doctor with Molly O'Sullivan. She's my favourite companion for the 8th Doctor. Which is why I love Dark Eyes. Because Dark Eyes is absolutely a brilliant, brilliant series. If you haven't listened to all of Dark Eyes. Through Dark Eyes 1 to Dark Eyes 4. Go and listen to them. Because they're absolutely spot on. And absolutely brilliant. So I kind of want them to keep Big Finish canon. So make this somewhere in between his basically last adventure with... Loose, um, either with basically somewhere between Dark Eyes or Four to Do, or in between Dark Eyes and Stranded, because otherwise it brings in my next point. Make his Dark Eyes costume absolutely canon. So the dark, the eighth Doctor in this wears blue jeans, white T-shirt, a blue leather jacket, a central bag, and of course brown or black shoes. And of course he has a brand new sonic screwdriver. So, and this is actually one I paid from Comic Con. I actually bought this at Comic Con last December, which is the replica of the Eighth Doctor's Dark Eyes Sonic Screwdriver. And absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. And I want them to bring the Eighth Doctor's costume from the Big, the Big Finish universe into canon. So imagine the Eighth Doctor turn up with this Sonic Screwdriver with the leather jacket, the white t-shirt and the blue jeans. I have cosplayed this look of the Eighth Doctor myself, so I'm going to put the image up as well. So I'm hoping that they actually do make Big Finish basically canon and bring in the Eighth Doctor's look from Dark Eyes. 
Right, number three. If they're going to do this and they're going to bring in the master, get Alex McQueen. Alex McQueen, he is a fantastic incarnation of the master. From what I've listened to in the two masters and the Dark Eye series, he's absolutely flipping brilliant in the role of the master i absolutely do enjoy listening to him as the master and he's my favorite big finish master i mean i've only listened to two versions of the master which is basically jeffrey beavers who does play the master and keep a track and, and alex mcqueen and alex mcqueen god blimey he's my absolute favorite master so far for big finish because i think he's absolutely brilliant and i just absolutely love it i really do love it so i want alex mcqueen basically to be bringing as the master so we can actually have alex mcqueen's master can canonized so basically we can either have Alex McQueen we generate straight into the war master played by Jarek Jacobi when it comes to the end of basically renewing the master so why Jack Jarek Jacobi is still alive and he's in the audio at the moment playing the war master imagine having the regeneration scene from Alex McQueen into Derek Jacobi bringing that whole entire loop absolutely amazing I would love it number four I want better Simon stories now in Big Finish, the Eighth Doctor has encountered the Cybermen quite a few times, like in Sword of Orion, the the Human Resources, Parts 1 and 2, and of course, the Silver Turk. And every time he comes across the Cybermen, absolutely brilliant. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. So, I kind of want the Eighth Doctor to meet the actual classic Cybermen. I know the BBC have them basically in storage or whatever. I don't know why all the old costumes, like for what they use for the Tenth Planet, Bring those ones back that we used for the Tenth Planet and the recorrection of the Doctor Falls. Imagine the Eighth Doctor coming across those Cybermen. Imagine that. I absolutely love it. And number five. Sorry, number five. Bring back the TV Movie Titles Console. I don't really care if they bring either the TV Movie back or basically the John Hurt one. But I would actually like to see the 8th Doctor back in his TARDIS from the TV movie. Because from the audios, he actually does have that console room. I believe in Time the 8th Doctor Adventures Time War 1, he does have the, the John Hurt console. But I think I would absolutely love it if they can just get back or try and remake it. The actual TARDIS console room from the TV movie. If they have to go with license fees for that one with... Fox or Universal, I understand they can't, but I think it would absolutely be a fantastic opportunity just to bring back that fantastic state of equipment of that Tyrus console. I think that'd be absolutely brilliant. Of course, there is other things I would like to see from the Eighth Doctor adventures, like the Daleks. I mean, the Eighth Doctor did come across a new type of Dalek casings with the black half of the Daleks being like from the 80s and the bottom half where basically they're from the 60s. Which is absolutely brilliant with the 60s colouring. So I'm hoping we get to see the Daleks in this series. I'm hoping we get to see more of the 8th Doctor. And I'm hoping that if they do bring in this sonic screwdriver from Dark Eyes. They can actually still keep this one in as the Doctor's backup one. As this is a actual prototype in that you can see that was leading to Christopher Eccleston's Sonic. So, and John Hurt's Sonic. So I really do hope they do make this one. Can it, like bring this Sonic into the into the tv universe it'd be absolutely brilliant i'm really looking forward to this if it does happen i mean i've just talked about five things i would like to say that is quite a few things i really want and i just think it should go on for quite a few series. and of course you can actually have it in between any big finish adventure you can have it have it at the end of the charlie series or just before he meets lucy miller or just after lucy miller but you can't really do that because it, Dark Eyes basically does set that up so you could actually have it somewhere in between the Charlie Adventures or just basically just somewhere after Stranded or something like have a whole new adventure with the Eighth Doctor after Stranded just before he goes into the Time War I really love that so let me know in the comments what do you think of this preferential series will you be happy about it I mean more of the Eighth Doctor Please give us more of the 8th Doctor BBC. I'm really hoping it does come true. As I say, this that does come from the Mirror, who are basically correct for the Doctor Who leakage rumours. I mean, look at everything they've done so far with basically the animations, because they announced the Abominable Snowman, the Evil of the Daleks. They've even, basically earlier this year, they basically said, oh, we're going to get the Underwater Menace, which is true. And of course, the Smugglers. But really, I think the Smugglers will be next year. 
a next year release. Let me in the comments what do you think about this. How do you feel about an 8th Doctor spin-off series? Let me in the comments. Please do like, subscribe, and share. Enjoy some awesome Doctor Who content.